Abraham was called by God out of his father's house, his father's land, where he was born, where his old parents, family, relatives were. He was called to a land that he knew not. Nothing about it. Amen. Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, O glory, and from thy father's house and unto a land that I will show thee. Amen. My interpretation. Abraham is passed thousands of years ago. The scripture is still alive. Amen. Glory. Glory. And uh, in looking, I am very touched. I'm very concerned. I'm very blessed. God moving a man in these last days out of his own country into another land. Amen. Unto a land that I will show thee. This didn't just happen by chance. And I will make of thee a great nation. When you look, I believe Pastor Mackenzie came here with just his family. And it seems to be a small family. Amen. But God hath made him a great nation. Bless him. Make his name great. And the Bible said he shall be a blessing. And every Pentecostal church you go, all the people that get saved never stay in that one congregation. They are scattered all over the world. If all the people that get saved here should ever come back here my God you would want a few acres of land to put up a building that would house them and I will bless them that bless thee cursed him that cursed thee and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Abraham obeyed the call and in verse 4 he started the journey. Went down to Egypt. When he reached there he feared the Egyptians. His wife a very fair beautiful lady and the fear that Abraham had is that the Egyptians might kill him and take his wife away so Abraham said to his wife Tell them, I am your brother. He is my sister. In verse 17, And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues. 
because of Sarai, Abraham's wife. And Pharaoh called Abraham and said, What is this that thou hast done unto me? Why didst thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Why saidest thou, she's my sister, so I might have taken her to me to wife? And now therefore, behold thy wife, take her and go thy way. Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away, and his wife, and all that he had. So Abraham was delivered and, in chap and his wife in chapter 13 he returned to the land of blessings and built an altar in verse 5 and Lot also which went with Abraham had flocks herds, tents but Abraham was told by God to separate, hallelujah, from his family, his father's house. The mistake he made was to take Lot with him. This was not supposed to be on the journey. So there had to be another separation. Because between Lot's herd men, Abraham's herd men, there was some confusion. It couldn't work. Amen. To really do the perfect will of God, one's life must be separated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, Abraham could never fulfill God's perfect will in his life with his cousin Lot, it could never work out. Lot did not know about the problems between his herd men and Abraham's herd men. Abraham first got some knowledge of it. This man was a man of peace. Amen. Deep down into his soul, he loved speech. He feared God for oh, glory. But the mistake that he made must be corrected. The time has now come when Abraham had the opportunity to say to Lot, let there be no strife among us. Between your herd men and my herd men, Abraham gave Lot the choice. If you take the left, I take the right. If you take the right, I take the left. Oh, hallelujah. Lot cast his eyes on the plains of Sodom. He looked at the wealth of the world. And what he could accomplish. Oh praise God. Amen. Everything was there flourishing. For his cattle. His herds. And whatever they were. Amen. But Abraham made choice. Of the rocky mountains. And he walked with God. He stayed with God. Hallelujah. He loved God. Chapter 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram 
in a vision saying, Fear not. Amen. Fear not, Abraham. You know, fear can be very destructive. Amen. Fear can destroy. Fear causes you to hold back from even the things that God wants you to do. Fear can destroy that which God wants to do through you. Amen. Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceeding. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am thy shield. And thy exceeding great reward. And Abraham said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold to me, thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is mine here. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. How glory. God was dealing with Abraham. Praise him. You see, verse 3 said, And Abraham said, Behold to me, thou hast given no seed. Just my wife and myself. No seed. In other words, no children. Amen. But when Abraham made that argument to the Lord, verse 5, the Lord brought him forth abroad. Thank you, Lord. And said, look now toward heaven and tell the stars. You said you have no seed. But look towards heaven. Tell the stars. If thou be able to number them. And he said unto him. So shall thy seed be. Oh praise God. Praise God. And he believed in the Lord. And he counted it to him. For righteousness. Look at the sun of the seashore. You're talking about you have no sea. But when I call you out of your father's land, from your father's country, I call you to a land that you know not. That I promise to bless you. You're talking about one or two children. But I'm talking about. Making you many nations. 